It's hard enough to start a business even when you have lots going in your favor. Plenty of capital, a great location, and a product in high demand. For black Americans, racism and legal barriers have limited opportunities for business ownership. Despite the challenges, one family in rural Arkansas has owned and operated their 86-acre farm since 1949. Now they run the only black-owned farm in the area and are expanding to another, first of its kind, black-owned business venture. Our correspondent, Dina Demetrius, visited Helena, Arkansas, in the heart of the Mississippi River Delta, where Harvey and Donna Williams are investing in the town that five generations of their family have called home. There's more to this town than a bunch of old farmers. I mean, there, there's so much more. I want and I believe that this distillery can bring some, some positive light to that. Harvey Williams is a trailblazer in a town he's known all his life. Helena, Arkansas sits in one of the state's poorest counties. But Williams' new distillery proves there's richness in the Mississippi Delta and an opportunity for unity. This is a mixed crowd in this space in Helena, which is one of the rare places where you'll see people in a social construct really you know, enjoying themselves. Patrons from all over the Delta are drawn to Williams' award-winning vodka and gin made from sweet potatoes grown on his family farm. Open just a year ago, Delta Dirt is the only black-owned farm distillery in the country. But for Williams and his wife, Delta Dirt is distinguished by something even more profound. Donna and I were intentional about wanting our business to be for all people. I know the businesses, they're either black or they're white. And for the most part, they're patronized by either black or white. And we didn't want to be that. Delta Dirt offers a glimmer of hope in an area marked by racial divides and lack of prosperity. It's the only thriving venture on historic Cherry Street. But Williams hopes his success can attract other aspiring entrepreneurs to this town of 9,000 people. I just think Helena deserves a business that can bring people in to see the beauty in the town. Williams, an agricultural engineer, and his family returned to the area after years of working outside the state. I didn't necessarily want to farm, like drive tractors every day, uh, but I did want the farm to be sustained. In the early decades of the 20th century, his great-grandfather was a sharecropper on these 86 acres. But his grandfather devoted himself to buying the land in 1949, selling his cotton for a higher price to someone other than the landowner. And he sold some spirits on the side. The thing is, after he bought the farm, he never did moonshine again. I'm like, okay, so there was a, there was a means to the end there. Yeah. William's father later diversified into raising vegetables, including sweet potatoes. That move has given Williams a chance to expand the family business using his own creative juices. That checked a lot of boxes for me to be able to run a business, grow a business, grow a brand, and still have that farm take care and uh, be sustained. It took a lot of learning um, just to understand the distillery business, and I went to conferences about distilling. And most people say this was sweet, but this is a barley. Despite all his groundwork and expertise, Williams was unable to get bank loans. The family used all their savings to start the distillery. He's now inspired to share how the next generation of rural black families can expand their own opportunities to create generational wealth. I had a group of uh, FFA students, Future Farmers of America students from the high school I graduated from. And part of it is letting them know that there's more to farming than just driving tractors and doing that. Uh, this is about business. Williams has passed this spirit to his children, like son Thomas, who has become a head distiller. But sadly, Harvey Sr., whose support and guidance was an essential ingredient in their success, passed away last year. I could tell he was proud of us and what we had you know, accomplished, especially in, in this area. I mean, it's not something that black people just do is to open up a distillery and open up a business that has the potential to be as successful as I think we're gonna be. For my family, it definitely will be transformational. The Williams family is lifting up its own legacy while raising spirits in the Delta. Cheers. In Helena, Arkansas, I'm Dina Demetrius for Matter of Fact.